Julian, you know, I talked to you yesterday about the belief in, you know, we all know you guys have a long way to go to get into the tournament mix. Wednesday was one game. This obviously built off that. What, what do these two wins kind of do for you guys, the confidence you guys have to know you are capable of playing like this? I think it brought momentum. I think mean, that's kind of the biggest thing that you know, we take from it. Um, you know, I think we're going to we're going to the team. And uh, I think it's another game we can take and go into, go into the next game with some confidence and uh, see, and see what we did with this game and then take it to the next fight. That's what we did today with uh, Xavier. And Xavier played pretty well and then took it over to the next one. And I uh, wanted to expand. So I feel like that's, that's kind of the, big, the biggest takeaway for me and my team is just to continue to, to compete with that. And I mean, you're, you're, you've won four in a row when you're at full strength. How much of a difference does that guy next to you make? Just when he's defending like he is, when he's making plays for guys like he is. Uh, this guy right here, that dude. Um, nah, but I mean, like, like I told you yesterday, you know, he pushes the pace, and uh, that, that's his pace all the time. So with him doing that, you kind of have no choice but to keep up with him. And I feel like that helps out the team. Because everybody's going to have to move his pace. He's the point guard, you know, he's, he's the head of this train. So as he's doing that, you know, we just follow. And, um, you know, obviously him playing defense, what he does, it does nothing really help us, honestly. So having him back has been, you know, wonderful, to say the least. But uh, on to the next. Posh, I think probably a few games ago, you know, you guys lost a couple of games and you were hurt. I mean, I think people might have thought about St. John's as more of like a spoiler kind of team. Do you think that you guys are contenders again? I mean, the outsiders are going to talk. You know, um, we a team. Even though I sat out, I was going through an injury. I had faith in my team. They had faith in themselves. We had faith in the coaches. We went down a couple games, but we didn't get ourselves up. We just moved on to the next. And, you know, I'm glad to be back to help my team out. And they was playing wonderful. We just came up short a couple games. Julian, you were smiling at that question. Do you see yourselves as contenders? Uh, no, I just not sure if I did answer. I can copy the answer to myself. I have a nice game. And uh, just to know that, you know, things happen. We're in a couple games, you know. So just keep pushing. That's kind of the, the model that we have right now. Just keep going, keep pushing one day at a time. Energy is different with the team when you're playing in this building. Do, would you agree? I mean, yeah, we practice here. <laughs> Play here every day, so uh, you know, sh the shots fall a little different here. Um, I think I, I think all of us can test it out. And a big shout out to the fans, you know. They they give us the energy, you know. We appreciate them for that. And Pasha, I mean, to follow up, I mean, arguably your two biggest games to date against Villanova and UConn, you had to sit out. I mean, what was that like in seeing your teammates out there and figuring that you could have made a difference? I mean, when that happened, I was like, you know, I was kind of upset on myself, but I couldn't really beat myself up because I was hurt. But like I said before, I had faith in my guys, I and mean, they had faith in themselves, and we had faith in the coaches. We just came up short a couple of um, two games, you know. Uh, like a big stop could have caused us to win that game, but we came up short, and we can't do nothing about it now. So we just flip the page and move on to the next. And we're really going to see both teams soon. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for Julian, and then kind of for both of you guys. Uh, Julian, back before the game on Wednesday, I asked you about the team's mindset, and you guys end up going to Cincinnati, pulling out with a big win over them. How infectious is a win like that for today and down the stretch? I mean, I think it starts with, I think everyone, it, it, it was possible to start with something in the season. You know, um, everybody talks about last year, how they won a game, and then they started to trust for us, like, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning straight. So, honestly, it's true, I mean, it was a good win. I feel like that was a game that, you know, Played well, we put it all together, we played how coach wanted us to play a fight game like that. He was a little more confident, like, all right, we can do it. This, this is this how you want to play it. It was, it was not so hard, it's not forced. Um, but one of those, you know, one of the things they were able to kind of give us that little edge. Um, and how you want today, we were able to do so. Honestly, I think we played great. I don't know if that's what they were able to do. I don't know if they were able to do it. Um, you know, hopefully that's the, the same carry over in the same building, um, our home, you know, so. And then for both of you guys, how excited are you guys to play Creighton to get a revenge game against them in Karnasek Arena on Wednesday? I mean, he could be there. He got the ball for me today. I mean, I just might, might be like, uh, I'm not excited for everything, honestly. I feel 
feel like maybe everybody got this a lot. So just coming out and, and you know playing hard and stuff like that. But that's if you have a chance to do that again against the team beat us in their house. Um, I feel like that's a great opportunity. I mean stuff like that. I truly really, I feel those other games we can get back at and you know show people like show people and, and, and the community that you know we 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 can play. So uh, I mean I actually agree with everything he said. So. One more. Julian, the team shot a lot better from the free throw line tonight. Uh, you guys only missed one. Do you feel like the team shoots better at the line when you guys are performing better, or do you think you guys just all put it together tonight? What are your thoughts on that? Um, if I'm honest, I don't know. I don't think I don't think we should miss, I don't think we should miss too many free throws. Um, you know, we should rely on practice. I don't think it has too much of a team. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah. I don't think it has too much to do with the team playing well. Um, I just think it has to do with a lot of focus. You know, obviously today we got to put in time. We missed one. Um, I, I, I don't think it has too much to do with, with how, how we're playing. I just think it has to do with focus and saying, you know, no matter what scores, how the team is going, um, locking in, and these things are exactly the same game. And it's going to have a couple games for us at the club. You know, free throws are going to be a regular difference. So I think it just takes the focus. I think it's a little focus. What was it like to have your brother there courtside? <laughs> I haven't seen him in months. Um, I him every day. But I've uh, seen him on the side. He gave a little extra kick. Um, but it was in the max. Did he uh, give you any words of encouragement during the game? During the game or before the game? He gave, us, he gave me some uh, during the game. I can't say which one before the game. But, um, yeah, he gave me some words. What did he say? I'll tell you afterwards. I'll tell you afterwards. Thanks, guys. It was outstanding. Posh was outstanding. Uh, our defense was outstanding. To hold them to under 60 points, uh, that was one of the goals we talked about. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we made shots. Uh, but our defense really ignited that. You know, the first time out, uh, I think we had like two deflections. And then over the course of the game, and we end up over 30. So that told me the energy level that our guys were playing with was not there in the first, you know, four or five minutes. Uh, but it picked up. Guys coming off the bench, uh, giving us big minutes. And, uh, I'm really, and I've seen this probably in the last few games, that we're picking up our intensity even in the second half. So we're starting to become a second half team. That's, uh, that's what I've been looking for with this basketball. Next game up, we gotta enjoy it to midnight and we gotta move on. Mike, you, you're, you work four in a row when you're at full strength. You obviously had the two home games you lost without Posh. But do you feel like this team is hitting its stride? We're getting more guys contributing. I think that's the biggest key. I think they understand their roles. Uh, they understand defensively what we're trying to do. Uh, like I said, it, it's just coming together at, at the right time. I've said that it's a process, and you know, uh, you don't just throw a bunch of guys together and it starts happening. So, uh, but we get more contribution. The guys that are more consistent. I mean, you look at Joel. That first half, he was fantastic uh, in the first half. I thought he was active, rebounding, finishing off plays. Uh, guys continue to share the basketball uh, on the offensive end, and of course, uh, when Jules in that. In that zone, that makes us an even more dangerous basketball team. Uh, Aaron Miller, I was looking at our forwards. Our forwards were, I think, eight for 14 from the three-point line. You know, uh, most teams is their guards, but with, with our team, it's our forwards, and then Dylan chime in as well. Mike, uh, Raphael was available. He didn't play him. Um, D is, I know. Can you tell me he had some practice at all? And no, he did not practice, so we'll, we'll just kind of go day by day with him. Do you, so you don't anticipate him just, just playing at all? Well, we'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, you know, uh, he finally became available, and uh, he'll get some practice, get some workout, and we'll see where he's at. Mike, you gave uh, Alexander a, a short rest in the first half. You took him out around 13 minutes 
brought him back with about 10 minutes left. Um, and you guys are down, you were either up two or down two. But then the whole rest of the first half, you guys just were, were pretty close to unstoppable. How does Alexander turn you guys into that? Well, he's, I mean, he can, he can have an effect defensively as well as offensively. I think that's what you see. And I thought uh, we ended up speeding them up uh, during that period that you just talked about. You know, when teams come, they're prepared. They're prepared for our pressure defense. They, they come in and try to execute. But through the course of the game, you know, uh, I believe fatigue kind of creeps in there. Uh, he had a chance to go get some rest, and I thought he brought a, uh, a certain energy level that took place. And then he was making some unbelievable uh, passes to guys, getting in the gaps, and, uh, and guys were finished. I think Joel was the recipient of three of his passes. Uh, uh, so guys were finishing on plays. So just go back to earlier, we were missing a lot of layups. And now we're starting to make some of those plays. And, makes a big, big difference. Uh, got to the free throw line 10 times, made, I think 11 times, made 10 of them. Uh, but he's an igniter. That's what he did for our team last year, and that's what he does for our team this year. So it's good to have uh, him back and uh, have him playing. Mike, it feels like the energy within the team is different playing in this building compared to others. Would you agree on that? I think that probably is one of our better performance this year. Uh, I think the, you know, the plan at home this year, I don't, uh, other, I thought our fans had fun tonight. I thought our guys brought it. You know, we started off, as I said, like a little low, but then once we picked it up, I think our fans got into it and I thought it just injected a lot of energy, you know, uh, with our players. You know, you, you can just see the, uh, uh, our students, our fans, uh, it's uh, the band, the cheerleaders. You get that in the place that we practice every day, uh, you know, then that's, you're familiar with that. Uh, so you got to protect home court. We always talk about that. And, uh, we're, uh, we're still behind in the race. You know, I don't know we're going to catch up. we got outrunning people in front of us. So uh, there's still work to be done. Coach, you mentioned Joe Soriano's improvement a few times. How do you feel like his uh, presence under the basket helps your entire offense as a whole flow? I think, you know, we, we see him when he catches it, the defense has to, uh, to honor him. And uh, I think he makes great passes out of the post. And when he's going scoring, I mean, it's, it's hard to stop him. Uh, uh, we just got to keep spoon feeding him, I think. And, uh, uh, but his development is big and, and uh, you know, and how good this team can be because he gives us that present. And it's funny because when he gets it on the offense, man, guess what he does on the defense? Man? He's pretty active. He's Rebounding, blocking shots, changing shots, uh, fixing things on defense. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, there's not a ton on our on my end or our end to, to say about that one. You know, it was more you know, just a good old-fashioned uh, butt kicking. Uh, I thought Coach, you know, had their guys really in play. Uh, they competed from the jump, and they had a, just a great energy about them. Uh, that, that was the biggest, uh, the biggest difference. Uh, you can kind of see. Player to player, just the, the contagious energy that they had, and we didn't. Uh, and it led to right, a number of positive things uh, for them throughout the game. And so, uh, you know, we, we just got to do a better job as a staff of getting our guys ready, uh, you know, regardless of whatever circumstances. So I thought, you know, difference in it was as much as it was strategy and, uh, you yeah, know, playing some zone and those things. They just had a, a lively energy, uh, contagious energy about them that we didn't match. Just when they have Julian and Posh going like they did tonight, how tough are they to defend? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're you know, I think their, their talent matches anybody in our conference. And, and uh, yeah, I thought we did a good job on, on Julian when we, when we were at our place. Uh, made everything contested. He still, you know, I think he still had 20 points, but it was, you know, we did a better job at home than of just challenging and making it tougher on him. Uh, and he had a couple tough ones tonight. Um, you know, but we lost him in transition too much. We played some zone, lost him in the zone. Uh, and, and you can't give him, you know, free looks. Uh, and I thought Posh did a really good job of controlling, you know, just controlling the, the tempo. Uh, maybe when we were trying to pick up and, and pick up the pressure, you know, he, he did a good job of handling and finding.
Ryan and his teammates, and uh, you know a lot of it was transition. Uh, we didn't do a good job communicating. So, but those two and the rest of them, you know, Aaron Boone is playing at a high level right now. Uh, so their guys are they're playing really well at, uh, at, at the right time. For both of you, when Alexander is doing what he does, the deflections and the assists and and, and moving the ball, why is he like? What is so tough about him? Is, is, are there other players out there like him? Uh, I think, you know, the system, it, it's a, you know, if you wanted to find a perfect match you know, for a system for a player, he, you know, he, he's bonded with coach. Uh, we played them uh, in my first year back when he was in Arkansas uh, in, the, in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And, you know, it was, it was a, um, you know, was the system that they run. They had two talented guards then, and they could cause some havoc, and, and he fits right in. So I think it's a, you know, a really good job of evaluating somebody that fits the system really well, and, and obviously Bosch has excelled, you know, and Coach, can you just describe for me what it's like playing in a conference like the Big East where on any given night you can pick up a big win or face some adversity? It's, it's, the, it's the best. It's the gift and the curse. You know, it's where you want to be in, in the best league in the country, in my opinion, top to bottom. Uh, you have to show up every day. We didn't show up tonight. Uh, so if you don't, you know, the price of admission is having a good energy and playing hard. If you don't do that, you get, you know, you, you'll get you know, beat by a lot because really good coaches and high level talent in this league. Uh, so that's the fun part. Uh, it's also the hard part <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's every night you got to prepare your best, you got to, you know, do all the things as a uh, staff and do all the things as a player to have yourself ready to go uh, because you know, you know, there's no nights off uh, and it doesn't matter, you know, ranking or standings or you know, any of that. And uh, our guys credit, we've been, you know, right there, you know, the last you know, five, six games, uh, but tonight we just didn't didn't have what it takes to, to compete at the level in, in, in this league. And so we've got to dust ourselves off and get ready for Sunday.